sky is, is uh, we think, either a Libra or a Virgo. We don't know, because she's a rescue. But she's actually got a little bit of um, skin stuff going on right now, so some autoimmune. Her digestive system's a little bit blocked. And you know, if you have pets, you can do maneuvers. Uh, they like it, but sometimes you just need to ease them into it. They get confused as to what you're doing when you first start. But if you ease them into it, there's usually no problem. Um, if you do some good maneuvers, they'll actually stand up, shake, and then walk around just to kind of integrate it. Um, some of the ones that you can do easy. The ones that they don't like as much is the back legs. There's a sensitive spot on the hip and the ears sometimes. Um, Sky lets me pull her ears. <laughs> she doesn't say much, but you can actually, just like our maneuvers, pin and stretch the skin. So you pin with one hand so it doesn't move, and then you stretch with the other. And you can do it anywhere. You can do it on their back. Like I find actually doing it on their back is, is really easy. You take their spine and you just pull the skin apart and hold it. And you're stretching all the fascia between your hands. You don't want to slide. You're grabbing two areas and you're pulling it apart. And that usually kind of elongates the spine. You can pull the ears. So you can actually pin the fascia on the neck and then pull the ear and twist it. And you don't have to do it hard. I mean, you can go softer and slower. The, the softer you do, the longer you hold. You can also stretch the neck. So pin and just stretch it apart. And all I'm doing is, is grabbing two spots and then holding them and stretching them. But I'm not sliding my hand like a massage. I'm not pushing in to try and force it to relax. Another really good one that they like is over the shoulders here and the hips. What you can do, I got dirt on my hand now. So you can push in like, like this and twist. So twist it and just hold it. And you're going opposite direction on the on both sides and you'll know which direction to go because you'll feel it so you'll go on either side and just hold it i'm grabbing the fascia and i'm just twisting it forward like a like a gear and then the other side i'm going backwards and, and relax and you can do the same on the hips we're gonna do of her digestive system here so, so you can do the organ where we're like right in the bush so you can do the organ reset if you've done the organ reset before you'll know exactly how to do it but basically you can just hold one hand in one spot and the other hand over different areas of their abdomen so in this case i'm just going to put my hand my left hand by her neck my right hand i'm going to go just above her hip on her stomach and i'm just gonna twist the skin a little bit let me see if i can bring it a bit closer so you can see so right here see she's got some some balls forming so there's a blockage there so i'm just gonna go on the abdomen and i'm gonna lightly torque the skin and i can use my other hand to stretch i can actually stretch it pull my hands apart Wow, she, she just did a di big deep breath there. So she, she's unwinding a little bit. Okay, let's, let's do the, oh yeah, you like that. There you go. <laughs> okay, now we're in full on rollover mode. So let's do. Okay, 
So now you can do above the hip. So on the hip, this is where the, it can get really sensitive depending on the dog, especially if they walk on a pavement a lot. Like if your dog is, is uh, in the city walking on pavement, that's not good for their hips. So you can actually stretch, just stretch it. You don't have to do anything fancy. I'm not like digging in, right? I'm just stretching over that area. Her, her tail's now moving, okay? That's a good sign. So another one, you can pin the hip. This one's really good on humans. You can pin the hip there and push apart. This opens up the intestines. How's that feel? Okay. So, organ reset. Hold one hand on the neck. The other hand can just go over any spot here. So, here's her rib cage. So, it's going to be very similar to a human's. You've got your organs underneath the rib cage there. So, I'm just going to Gently twist the skin and hold one hand there. And you can just hold it there for a couple minutes. If you breathe with them, it's more powerful. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side now. This one's the liver, so this is gonna be a little tender. I can feel she's got a lot of tension in there. That landed right on the fence, Mom. We had a coconut tree fall, or part of it. It's okay, Sky. That was a big one. Okay, so, so let's go back. Come on, let's go back to your liver. No avoiding your anger. Breathe deep. Come on. Okay, so we did both sides under the rib cage. We did uh, the intestines on the right side. Now let's do the left side. Mosquito trying to bite her. Okay. So you can feel there's balls of tension. And just twist the fascia. And it's really simple. It's literally, if you've done this on yourself, you can do this with your dog. You can do this with your cat. Okay, next one you can do uh, is the torque technique. So what you're doing is like, it's like a, an arm burn. You're gonna grab above and below, almost like the kneecap area and just twist like this. And that creates a, a torque pattern. And then you can actually pull the leg out. So I'm lengthening her leg and I'm twisting on the leg. So legs, again, are this area of the leg is super sensitive on dogs usually. So that's why they want to check if everything's okay when you do that. You can do this on the arms too. How's that feel? Okay, let's do it. Let's do an arm. So this is a little arm pull. So you can actually just literally grab the arm and just, just lightly pull it, creating a bit of length. <laughs> She's giving me kisses now. That's always a good sign. 
and switch charms. And while I'm pulling with one, I can actually pin the shoulder with the other. How's that feel, Sky? How does that feel? So she's happy. <laughs> and that is how you work on your dog. Hang on. <laughs> I think she's happy. Yeah. So the idea. Idea yeah, is, is every animal has fascia. Every animal has the bones and the organs, the muscles, the tendons, the nervous system, for the most part. And it's true. What's true for one is true for all. You can work on any of your pets. Um, at some point, we may even work with dolphins. I don't know. I mean, that's that's a, that's been a, a dream of ours as a team. Something that we want to do. She's uh. She's enjoying herself. Okay, go for your walk. See, they shake off. And that's a pretty common thing after you do work with them. Come on, Sky. Let's see your new walk. Come on. Thank you.